Hi everyone, this is Michael with FamilyHistoryProducts.com. Just a quick video today to explain the different ways that Memory Grabber can be used. First of all, Memory Grabber is a, an ebook. That means it's, it's a PDF file uh, which is downloaded to your computer. Uh, one way that people have used this for many years is to just simply download it to the computer, print it off, place the printed pages in a three ring binder of some kind, and just write the responses uh, the, and the answers to the questions uh, with, the, with the pen or pencil. And the other way is some people would just take the ideas that are generated from Memory Grabber and just uh, type the responses uh, into a typical word processing program or maybe have a favorite journaling software program that you use already. Uh, so that's kind of the second way that a lot of people use it. The third way, and it's becoming more and more popular, is to use the Memory Grabber file uh, inside a program called Foxit, the Foxit PDF Reader. Uh, this is available for free, the, the reader is free, and that's all you need, and it's available at foxitsoftware.com. And I have it opened up right now, this is page 8, which is right toward the beginning of the um, Memory Grabber ebook. And it used to be, up until recently, you couldn't type into a PDF file and save it unless you had uh, a paid version. So that's the cool thing about Foxit. Uh, one of the big questions I get is, well, how do I actually type onto the document? Well, uh, right now I have Foxit opened up and I have uh, Memory Grabber opened up inside Foxit. And this is the first page where it's asking the basic, you know, your name and and where you're born and all that stuff. And uh, this is just the beginning of what Memory Grabber has, but to start typing your information in, as you see in the beginning you have this this hand uh, cursor there and you're not going to be able to type in until you go up here to the comments area click that come down to typewriter and then over to typewriter again so now you're in typewriter mode now what you need to do is simply click your cursor place it and left click it uh, where you need it to be looks like I'm covering up the area I'll just start here with the last name uh, I've got the screen kind of closed down because of this uh, video. I, I have limited space because of the video I'm recording. Um, but I click right there. I can start typing my uh, last name. But I, as you can see up here, this bar appears and you have full control of the type of font, the size of your font, and even the color of your font, just like any other word processing program. Uh, but let me go ahead and change this because I know I don't like Helvetica. So let's go Times New Roman, size 12. And uh, since everything else is black, I always like to go with blue font, but that's up to you. I can type in my last. Okay, and if you get this, this is a good point. If this pops up here, this is Fox that's just saying, hey, do you want to download a spell checker uh, program? And I don't want to do that right at this moment. It's not a bad idea, but I don't want to do it now. So I just type in my name. To me, okay, I think that looks kind of small. Um, let me go ahead and double click that, and I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's go with size 16. That looks pretty good to me. Um, I was born on, okay, I can type in December 2nd. And uh, all right, I'll divulge my age here, <laughs> 1964. And I was born in Roseburg, Oregon. And, uh, and I was told, I think I was Born sometime in the afternoon, three o'clock, three thirty or so, and then here's another thing. There's a lot of uh, there's only one instance right here where you have to choose AM or PM. There's a lot of other places later in the in the Memory Grabber ebook where you will it will ask you are you left-handed or right-handed, and you can circle the answer if you were actually doing this on paper. But when you do it inside Foxit, you can also uh, make selections uh, to do that. You want to come up into comments come down to the drawing tool and I like to go with oval and so I mentioned I was born at 3.30 p.m. so I could easily go right here and choose p.m. and it's a little off there so I'm gonna drag that over there we go so now I've chosen 3.30 p.m.